Good evening and welcome to the sixth annual White Coat Ceremony. I am Dr. Mary Shortreed and we are pleased to be able to offer this 2021 edition in a virtual format. The history of the White Coat Ceremony dates back to 1993 when Dr. Arnold Gold was still a practicing physician and professor of medicine. Dr. Gold wanted to be sure to instill the value of humanism early in the medical student's education. Soon, the majority of medical schools across North America were also holding white coat ceremonies, focusing on the attribute of humanism. In 2014, the Gold Foundation and the American Association of Colleges of Nursing expanded the white coat ceremonies to include nursing, thus recognizing nursing's contributions to health care. Currently, over 360 schools of nursing hold white coat ceremonies for their students. Each year, 50 more schools of nursing receive grants to host their first white coat ceremony. These grants are given by a program sponsored by the Gold Foundation trustee, Elaine Adler, and her late husband, Michael. Take time to come back to learn more about the history of the white coat ceremony in the legacy of Arnold P. Gold. Each year, the Arnold P. Gold Foundation designs new pins and donates them to each of the white coat ceremonies. The Mobius Loop symbolized the continuous bond of trust, respect, and clear communication between healthcare professionals and their patients, which occurs when humanism is at the core of medical practice. We have three speakers tonight. The first is President James Trussell, president of Youngstown State University. Next is Dr. Nancy Wagner, chair of the James and Corley Senefani School of Nursing. And our featured 2021 White Coat Ceremony speaker is Carly Berlon, a member of the Youngstown State University School of Nursing, graduating class of 2019. We're so excited to be celebrating our sixth annual White Coat Ceremony. These ceremonies were first initiated by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation, who donates the pins each year, which our students proudly wear on their white coats. The ceremony celebrates our sophomore nursing students taking the next step on their journey to become nurses. Clinical rotations begin, and our nursing students will begin the responsibility of caring for patients. This is a huge milestone because up until this time, they have only practiced on each other in the lab. This ceremony celebrates all that our students have accomplished so far and reminds them of their commitment to provide care with the utmost compassion and respect for others in the future. YSU nursing students are very excited to make a difference and help those in need within our community. 2020 was the year of the nurse. 2021 reminds us that the responsibility and expectations we have for our nurses is extraordinary. Congratulations on receiving your white coat. Good evening and welcome sophomore students, families and friends to our white coat ceremony. I'm Nancy Wagner, chair of the YSU Senefani School of Nursing. Tonight, instead of speaking to you in Kilcally Center, I'm bringing you greetings from our beautiful Masternick Nursing Simulation Lab in Cushwa Hall. Congratulations on receiving your white coat and your pin representing humanism and excellence. This is certainly a different year due to the pandemic, but still festive and important to all. On behalf of our entire School of Nursing, including faculty and staff, we wish you sincere congratulations on this first of many special moments in your nursing careers. We are proud of our YSU nursing programs. Today, our BSN program continues as the premier nursing program in the Youngstown area and the only registered nurse program in our community to offer an entry-level bachelor's degree. Currently, we enroll over 300 BSN students and over 100 graduate students. Our doctoral program for nurse anesthesia students will launch in May 2021. We're proud of our enrollment and size. We're very careful not to sacrifice excellence. Our dedicated faculty are outstanding teachers in the classroom and practitioners in the clinical setting. They have taught our students how to care for patients across the lifespan in long-term care facilities, hospitals, schools, in patient homes and in the community. Our faculty have accompanied students to Mexico, Israel, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Rwanda. We have many opportunities. Our goal is your success. YSU Nursing is a member 
of the prestigious American Association of Colleges of Nursing, a national organization that sets standards and provides resources for its baccalaureate and graduate member schools. All programs are fully accredited. In January 2020, we were getting ready to have a year-long celebration for the World Health Organization Year of the Nurse. Who could have predicted that the world would essentially shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic two months later? Yet it has been nurses, our YSU alumni, faculty, and students who've been our heroes at the bedside and in the community, risking their own health to care for the thousands of patients and families. We are so proud. There was some good news this year as well. In December, the Senefani Charitable Trust awarded us $1 million and we were named the Youngstown State University James and Coralie Senefani School of Nursing. That was a special moment. As you begin your clinicals, you'll be caring for patients across the lifespan. Keep your eyes open and keep your options open. As a future baccalaureate graduate, you will be in high demand, not only locally, but will be recruited regionally and nationally. I'd like to take this opportunity to offer sincere thanks to Laura Calcagni and Lori Fesco, our faculty chairs for tonight's event, along with White Coat Committee members, Sheila Blank, Paula McCluskey, Danielle Klass, Randy Heasley, Rose Mucci, Teresa Peck, and Mary Shortreed, and our office staff, Amy Kite and Laura Robich, who all worked many hours to assure smooth sailing for this ceremony. And thanks to all of you for submitting all of your wonderful pictures and your thoughts about receiving your white coat. Every detail was discussed in detail. We wanted this night to be perfect for you. Thanks to all who are celebrating with us tonight. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. My name is Carly Berlon. I am a 2019 graduate of the Bachelor's in Science of Nursing program at Youngstown State University, and I am a registered nurse at the Medical Intensive Care Units in both downtown Youngstown and Cleveland Clinic main campus. When I started deciding what I wanted to major in for college, I knew I wanted to pursue a career that would be fulfilling, one where I could use my talents to better someone's life, and a career that would not only be rewarding, but challenging to me. That's when I told my father I decided I wanted to become a teacher. My dad was very skeptical of the idea. He believed that teachers were overworked and underpaid, and I needed to pursue a career I could rely on for a comfortable living. He proposed I major in nursing like my sister Maureen. I laughed at even the thought of the idea and told him, and I quote, I do not want to clean up poop and give baths for the rest of my life. Early on, I realized nursing was much more than I expected. It required hard work and determination. Still, a small part of me was worried I made the wrong decision going into nursing school. I remember sitting in the chairs at my white coat ceremony, listening to the speaker tell my nursing class how she always knew she wanted to be a nurse. And I was wondering, but did you ever have any doubts? Did you ever second guess it? It seemed like everyone around me knew exactly what their passion was, whether it was emergency room nursing, labor and delivery, med surge, pediatrics, ICU. Everyone else had it figured out, except for me. I was just hoping to walk in on the first day of clinical and think, I'm right where I need to be. I made the right decision. That didn't necessarily happen right away. I spoke with countless of my nursing instructors who assured me that I would eventually find my niche and to keep pushing to get there. I would not wear, be where I am today without these amazing YSU nursing instructors, seeing the potential in me that I could not see myself. Thank you all for believing in me and thank you for getting me to where I am today. If you're in the same position right now, hang in there. Your epiphany is coming. Mine came the day I stepped foot in the intensive care unit at Mercy Downtown. I remember hearing the ventilator alarms, the code bells, and the IV pumps beeping. My head was literally spinning due to so much happening at once. Yet the nurses were unbothered. They buzzed around the unit with laser focus, making everything look effortless. Nothing stopped them, and they seemed to know literally everything. That's the day I fell in love with critical care nursing. I finished my practicum at the ICU in downtown Mercy 
and I accepted the job at the medical intensive care unit in the Cleveland Clinic. There, I cared for the sickest of the sick from all around the world. I saved lives. I learned more than I ever thought I would. I made great friends. And yes, I spent a large majority of my time cleaning up poop and giving baths. And I loved every minute of it. Saying starting in the ICU as a new grad was complicated as an understatement. I was challenged by something new every single shift. But there came a point when I thought I finally had it all figured out. I felt comfortable in my skill set, and even at one point thought, I actually know what I'm doing. Then, COVID-19 came. Within the first weeks of COVID, I saw more death and heartache than I had seen in my nursing career thus far. Visitation was restricted in the hospital. The parts of my days I used to spend getting to know my patients and their families were now spent with Zoom calls, intubations, codes, and back-to-back -back admissions. Countless days and nights were spent holding patients' hands, begging them to keep fighting. And countless days and nights were spent holding patients' hands, telling them it was okay to let go and that they weren't alone. Some of you may think, for a girl that questioned her whole entire nursing career throughout college, you must have really been questioning your nursing career now. Just the opposite. I had never felt more confident that I was where I needed to be. I packed up and moved back to my original home at the Medical Intensive Care Unit in downtown Mercy and have been battling COVID-19 with my amazing coworkers ever since. So today, you put on your white coat. That means you'll be joining me in this battle. Not just battling COVID, but battling all diseases, whether it's cancer, strokes, the flu, broken bones, we are in this together. You put on this coat and you dedicate yourself to not only the patients, but your teachers, your fellow students, your future coworkers. You decide on the most rewarding, challenging, and fulfilling career of your lives. You decide to become a hero. The dictionary defines a hero as a person admired for achievements and noble qualities one who shows great courage. The first thing that comes to our mind when we think hero are the fictional characters such as Superman and Batman. Since the beginning of COVID, I cannot tell you how many times people have looked to me and thought of me as a hero. The thing is, when I signed up for nursing school, I had no idea there was going to be a pandemic in my career. It just so happened I were worked in the COVID ICU, and it just so happened I took care of COVID patients. It was my job, something I signed up for long before it came along, not something I selflessly threw myself into, like all of you. The real heroes are sitting right in front of this screen, those who see the challenge ahead and still want to join in the fight, those who are going to use their knowledge and talents to care for others in their time of need when they can't care for themselves. I think if anyone deserves the title of hero, it's all of you. Those white coats, consider them your capes. Wear them proud, and when times get tough, remember what they stand for. Remember this feeling of eagerness you have. Remember how excited you are to get out there in the clinical setting and put your skills to good use. Never lose that feeling. Never forget that in the face of adversity, you still chose to pursue this career in nursing. So with that, my fellow heroes, grab your capes and get out there. I can't wait for you all to join me in saving lives and making history and yes, even giving baths and cleaning up poop. Thank you. Thank you, Carly, for those very timely words to our class of 2023. Now I would like to introduce each sophomore student in their white coats and gold foundation pin. Please take a moment to read what each student has written about what their white coat means to them. Deanna Arthurs Madeline Barbato
Micah Beal. Isabella Bornis. Mia Bruno. Paris Bumgardner. Marina Bush. Sydney Call. Brooke Carroll. Feng Chen. Yasmin Shergot. Alex Clark Morgan Cole Kayla Collier Taylor Coy Connor Krogan Sophia Delator Bridget De Pascal Kayla Dietz Samantha DeTosti Wiley Dryman Jacob Duncan Delaney Early Ashley Fabian Kathleen Falloon Haley Farrow Emerson Fletcher Micah Gauntner Minnie Germano Autumn Gettings Caitlin Goss
Sarah Green. Johanna Hollabaugh. Christy Hopp. Carson Hoppel. Nathaniel Hunter. Sydney Hurd. Gabrielle Jamison. Mariah Johnson. Megan Jones. Brigitte Kammerdiener. Madison Kelly. Cassidy Kimbrough. Madison Kimes. Jessica Coaches. George Coulianis. Joseph Kuzar. Melina Lamana. Mackenzie Larch. Riley Lash. Regan Lavinia. Dana Lewis. Catherine Looney. Haley Lowe. Madeline Lucas. Michael Martin. Sydney Mattioti. Carlina Milano.
Kara Monroe. Brooke Morgan. Sumira Murad. Madison Murray. Vladislav Naboga. Madison Pickett. Caitlin Porterfield. Josie Presky. Jaden Record. Kaylee Rickard. Alexi Rinko. Kelsey Rising. Sterling Roberts. Amberly Rose. Kayla Rossetti. Kaylin Rounds. Maraca Santucci. Raquel Schertzer. Madison Schrock. Karina Seam. Katie Sakola. Michaela Shields. Chloe Simmerman. Brianna Simmons. Cheyenne Singleton. Alyssa Sipas. Stephanie Smith.
Paige Strobel. Mason Sakura. Lauren Searsack. Corinne T. Berry. Ryan Thompson. Madison Tibbetts. Ashley Ventimiglia. Michaela Violet. Michaela Watkins. Isabella Wirtz. Aaron Williams. Amber Wilson. Kayla Rasman. Jesse Wright. Riley Zarotuk. And these are the white coat recipients for 2021. Now we've come to the white coat ceremony oath. I invite all of the sophomores to read along with me. As a nurse dedicated to providing highest quality care and services, I solemnly pledge that I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns, act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner in all aspects of my care, apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. Exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements. Accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. Promote, advocate for, and strive to protect the health, safety, and rights of the patient. With this pledge, I accept the duties and responsibilities that embody the nursing profession. I take this oath voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Thank you for joining us this evening and congratulations again to the class of 2023. Please tag and share your comments and photos with us on social media. Thank you to all the faculty and staff of the James and Corley Senefani School of Nursing for making this evening a success.